Charles, and um, I'm, I've lived in Abbotsford for a long time. I'm originally from Prince George, but um, one of the jobs, because like Abbotsford is like the big city to me, I live in the, what I like to call the butthole of the north. Um, so yeah, Abbotsford is like really the big city to me. One job that I never could understand was the bathroom attendant. I mean, here's a guy who, he sits around and he listens to people fart all day. I mean, I always wondered how the, the job interview went for the bathroom attendant, because I know that, um, you know, wait, waiters and waitresses, they need to have good conversation skills when they're, you know, asking someone if they want a free re refill or, or whatever, I mean, I wonder what, I'm thinking that the conversation with the bathroom, bathroom attendant would, would be a, a little more awkward, I mean, it's like, um, I have your toilet paper, sir, oh, I see that um, you, have a, you have a piece of poo dangling from your, your bum, just let me get that for you, um, okay. Um, yeah, as, you know, um, I've, I've been, uh, yeah, you just got the joke, okay. Um, so, yeah, I've been, you know, dating for a bit. I've kind of got a little self-conscious, you know, because, because I, have a, I have a disability and I have seizures, so, you know, it kind of gets a little different with me when I'm dating, you know, I always have to explain to to the girl before I, before I have sex that it might, that being under extreme pressure or stress might cause a seizure and by the time I'm finished explaining that, they slap me and they walk out of the room because they think I'm calling them fat. Um, and if you're wondering how my, my sex life is now, well, uh, I mean, most people think that this is part, this hand is part of my disability, but no, it's just a lot of lonely nights and a lot of trips to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm glad that one went well. Um, yeah, so... You know, I went to school in Prince George to, you know, classes like my, my sex education class, I, I remember it really well, they had us take a pledge, you know, I, I promise not to have sex till I trust the person that I'm going to have sex with, and I took this to my, to my teacher and showed it to her, and she's like, oh, well, you should really wait till, till you get married, and then and then you should have sex. And so I'm thinking, and I'm like, okay, so I can either have sex with the person I trust for the rest of my life, or I can have small patches of distrustful sex throughout my life. Um, yeah, um, one other thing I don't really like about, about dating is that your parents always want to get, get really involved. You know, they want to meet the person who you're gonna, they they wanna they wanna pick out your clothes for you. I mean, my parents they always took that a step further. It wasn't so bad that they wanted to pick out what clothes I was gonna wear, but they always wanted to pick out what size condom I was gonna wear too. I mean, it wouldn't have been so bad, but but they always went with the small. So um, yeah, my my family is um, pretty crazy. Like. I almost think I could give a seminar about how crazy my family is. I mean, you know that your family is crazy if your dad offers up his own urine to your brother so in order for him to get a job. <laughs> I mean, I mean, most parents teach their teach their kids good work work ethics. So, so I guess my dad decided to go a different way, and I mean. You know, you know your family is crazy when your mom threatens to stab your dad with a turkey carving knife on Thanksgiving. Um, oh, and a fun little side note, if you're wondering who works on Thanksgiving, 
I can tell you for certain that the paramedics do. Um, you know, I'm, I'm slightly new to stand up, so and I do a lot of, um, I do a lot of research. And one interesting fact that I found is that when, when Neil Armstrong went to the moon, he left four bags of um, poo behind. And, you know, I found this really funny because, you know, when they stare off in the vastness of space and you're wondering what was on the astronaut's mind, well, well, we know what Neil, what was on Neil Armstrong's mind, um, where can I wipe? Um, I always wondered what they were saying when they said, Houston, I have a problem. Um, okay, so that's... That's me. <laughs>